Hi, and welcome. I'm Dave, and this is another Laughter Gym After Report. So I just had our 15 minutes of laughing and then a discussion about the experience and um, yeah, just feeling really relaxed, feeling very grounded. And uh, a couple of the things really are, are a couple of things that came up in my experience and in our conversation as a group uh, were definitely worth sharing. And so I want to uh, first point to laughing silently, which I've, I've come back to over and over again in the last four and a half years in Daily Laughers because in the first year making videos every day with people from all around the world, I got the impression that that was the most popular way to laugh because people always asked, can we do that in the videos? And we did sometimes. And there was one actually that I did on my own that <laughs> was uh, quite memorable and I'll, I'll pop the link for that into the comments after I get done. But in the laughter gym, laughing silently I was, I was very, very aware of the muscles in my abs and instead of, you know, having like big contraction and then relaxation of them, it was like the muscles were just quivering and it felt amazing. You know, I think ordinarily the, the attention is drawn to the muscles in the face. Like a, in laughing in general, but especially laughing silently. But if you haven't had this experience before, I invite you to just sit in silence with your laughter and see what you notice about the way your abs contract and release or relax during the experience. You don't have to try to mimic my experience. Just notice what yours is. In fact, that's part of what we talked about too, is listening to other people when they're talking, as well as to what messages are coming from inside yourself without kind of assessing whether you're agreeing or disagreeing, without judging your experience when, when you're listening to what's coming from within. But in, in all cases, listening for what's new and different, especially when you're doing that from within yourself, exploring laughter. Pay attention to what's new and different. This is a whole different way of listening. And, and yeah, I mean listening to other people as well. It's, yeah, it's a, it's a key component of my coaching work and it can be explored in all aspects of life. It's not limited to laughing, it's not limited to coaching. So I invite you to be curious. This was the other piece that came up in our Laughter Gym discussion is curiosity, which we're all born with curiosity. Look at children. They're curious about everything. They want to explore everything and everything is new to them. So look for what's new in your experience, in the experience being co-created between you and others. And be curious without any judgment, without an assessment of whether it's right or wrong, good or bad, agree or disagree. Look for what's new. And yeah, I invite you to start just by laughing silently and look for what's new in that experience. I'm gonna do it now for the ending part of this video. And if you join me, if we laugh silently together, comment below about whatever you notice, whatever it is. so much.
put a link for the Laughter Gym uh, Zoom room and the call times into the comments below. You're welcome to join us. We do it two times every day. And if you want to explore your laughter more deeply for the wisdom that it offers as a guide for life, get in touch with me. You can comment below or private message me. And I promise you, we can explore some absolutely life-changing things that are already there inside you you get curious enough to look and listen for what's new. I'll see you next time.